Welcome back to the series on parts of speech. Understanding how to use parts of speech and the different types, including verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, and conjunctions, and more will allow you to be a good writer and reader. There are eight parts of speech, but in this video, we will discuss adverbs. For nouns, verbs, and adjectives, please check out the video in my playlist. Please like and subscribe for more animated videos. An adverb is a word that modifies or describes a verb, adjective, or sentence. Let's review what a verb is. A verb is an action word such as walk, watch, or talk. An adjective is a describing word. Adverbs often use the L-Y ending, but not all words with L-Y are adverbs. We will discuss that later on in the video. Some examples of adverbs are quickly, loudly, and softly. What do you notice about these words? If you guess that the root words are adjectives, then you are correct. Adding the L-Y ending to the adjectives quick, loud, and soft gives, gives these words more meaning. More examples of adverbs include very tall, very short, and sings loudly. An adverb tells you more about a verb and an adjective by answering five questions. How, when, where, how often, and to what extent. Take a look at the chart below. How refers to angrily or hungrily. If you put this in a sentence to make it easier, we can say, we sat down and ate hungrily. Ask yourself, how did you eat? Hmm, hungrily. The second part of the chart answers when something occurred. And as you can see in the chart, the words yesterday and tomorrow are adverbs. It answers the question of when something occurred. Let's try with a sentence. It rained heavily yesterday afternoon. When did it occur? Yesterday. These type of adverbs tell when something occurred. The third part of the chart tells where. These words include here and there as an example. How often something occurs are also adverbs such as always and never. The last part of the chart is to what extent and includes the words almost and very. There are more types of adverbs, but these are the most popular. Now let's practice to see if you can identify the adverbs in the sentences to follow. Remember that not all L-Y words are adverbs. Some examples of words that are not adverbs, but have L-Y endings are multiply, apply, reply, lovely, ugly, family, jelly, and more. I want you to focus on the meaning of adverbs to help you determine what the adverbs are in our practice session coming up. Remember that adverbs describe or modify a verb or adjective or sentence. Pause the video and try to come up with the answers beforehand. Sentence one, Jacoby is extremely nice. Hmm, what do you think it is? Extremely is the adverb because it describes the word nice. Number two, he swims well. Well is the adverb because it describes the verb swim. Number three, he plays the flute beautifully. Hmm, what do you think it is? It's beautifully. Describes, it describes how the flute is played. Number four, the dog was walking awkwardly. Hmm, what would really help us with this? Well, we know the verb is walk. How was the dog walking? Awkwardly. So awkwardly is the adverb. Number five, Goldilocks went to the bear's house yesterday. Remember from our chart, we're talking about time. So the time in this sentence is yesterday. Number six, I will call you later. Again, 
This is talking about time. So which word is an adverb? If you guess later, then you are correct. Number seven, we take a vacation at least once annually. Again, this is time or frequency. How often do they take a vacation? Annually is the adverb. Number eight, nearly all of the students have bikes. Nearly tells how many, and it also has L-Y, so it is an adverb. Number nine, my dentist told me I should floss twice daily. How often should he floss? Floss is a verb. Twice daily. Daily is the adverb. And the last one, number 10, I usually shop for groceries on Saturday mornings. Hmm, he's shopping. That is a verb or an action. How often? Usually. Usually is the adverb. So how did you do? Remember, the easiest way to determine adverbs are to look at the suffix or ending, L-Y. Keep in mind that not all L-Y words are adverbs. I want to thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more in this series. In the next video, I will discuss pronouns. For the video on nouns, verbs, and adjectives, please click on the link to the left. Thank you very much.